Hey guys, Zach here. I'm going to show you guys how to use booleans and how to test them to see how they work. Uh, they're very important to use in your scripts and they're going to help you with creating better scripts with more capability. So if you have anything you'd like to add, feel free to leave a comment so others can see it. Alright, so um, feel free to follow along as we go. Uh, to start, we're just going to use this axe and I'm going to show you something that we can do with the variable debug option. So if you just go up to here, other debug, show variables, you're going to get this little pop up. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a boolean. You can name this anything you want. It doesn't have to be anything specific, but just something that you'll remember it by. So I'm just going to be putting is equipping. You can leave this as false because we're going to turn it to true. Alright, so you'll see in your variable debug option that a boolean has been made to is equipping. And it's set to false currently. Now we have to set that to true or have it be called to true. So all we're going to do is go to equipment. If wielding weapon, name this bronze axe. Okay, wielding weapon, variables, boolean, edit boolean, is equipping, will turn to true. Okay, set this as a else statement, so variable else, other, variables, boolean, edit boolean, is equipping, false. Okay, so now you'll notice we're not equipping, it is false. We equip it, it turns true, false. Okay, so as many have said before, it's very, very easy to simplify the terms of it. It's basically like turning on a light switch, turning light switch on, turning it off. Now you just need to figure out how you want the boolean to be called and how you want it to set for an action. So I'll go ahead and make up a quick script on wood cutting that uses booleans and I'll go through and show you how we have the booleans to work for us. Alright guys, so we have our script loaded in here. I'm just going to show you how this is going to work. This is just a simple uh, wood cutting script. So you'll see here our booleans is chopping as well as is fletching. They're both set to false currently. If you look up here, if inventory does not contain item with partial name, logs, set boolean to is chopping true. So technically, our boolean should be set to true, but we haven't started the script yet. So we'll go ahead and start that now. And let me show you this. You'll see it's true, so now it's chopping. All right, so I'll go ahead and speed things up. Once we get a full inventory, I'll come back and I'll show you. It'll switch to is fletching as uh, true, and it'll switch to is chopping as false. All right, guys, so you'll notice We've got three more logs and then it'll uh, switch us to fletching as true, as you can see right here. Once we have full inventory, we're going to set chopping to false, as well as fletching to true, and that'll start our fletching method. You'll notice over here in your variable debugger, it's going to show it change in real time. It's really nice to have this open, you can easily see what's going on. Alright, so you'll see that the fletching starts. And then once the fletching is finished, you'll see here we're sleeping until the inventory does not contain the logs. And that'll switch us back to true for chopping. Alright, so now you'll see chopping was set back to true. And that is pretty much it for booleans. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. I can try to explain it a little bit better uh, if this wasn't clear enough. But the biggest thing is, is just remember as a light switch. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Thanks. Have a good day.